You're up next. That's an unusual one. What Mr. Scamander fears above everything else is having to work in an office, sir. At the beginning of this film, Newt has come back from America, where we last saw him with Tina. He has published Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which has become a huge success and made him quite famous within the wizarding community, which he doesn't deal with particularly well. Uh, and all he wants to do is go back to America to find Tina, but they put a travel ban on him. So you kind of you find a slightly sort of aggy new at the beginning of the film. <laughs> He's not particularly happy because all the ministry, the British Ministry of Magic, and all the bureaucracy is stopping him from getting back to the girl that he fancies. There's a rumour that Newt Scamander was headed to Paris under your orders. Well, at the end of the first film, we see she's been reinstated as an R, which is almost everything for Tina. Certainly prior to meeting Newt, it was, her job was everything to her. After meeting Newt, she's got two interests in the world here. But being reinstated as an R, it's almost like she got her identity back. She's now in a long-distance relationship with Newt Scamander, and in long-distance relationships, as everybody knows, sometimes communication can be a problem. And uh, she's got the wrong idea about what's going on with it. So she's sure-footed at work, but still a little unsteady in her private life. We come to, to see Queenie, and she's been in a relationship, and it's not just a regular relationship, it's a forbidden relationship, essentially. Um, she is majorly breaking the rules. She's taken uh, Jacob to Europe, where there are uh, less uh, rules about muggles and wizards being together. You going somewhere? No, we're going somewhere. Jeez. And in doing so, has caused a huge rift with her sister. She's very focused on having her man. I played thesis commander. His name's Old Brother. He's the head or the British uh, at the British Ministry of Magic, which means he's a very successful man. Um, he's straight laced in comparison to, you, to everything that you is. And he's worried about his brother. He wants his brother to come and fight the good fight the way that he is. That's your brother? Oh, I think that might have been the best brother to fight. And he's engaged to Lita Lestrange, who is played by Zoe Kravitz. Um, and they used to have a thing. Um, I play Lita Lestrange. She is a pureblood wizard who went to Hogwarts, where she met Newt, and they were both kind of outcasts at school, and I think that's kind of what brought them together, and they, I think, found a lot of comfort in each other. So they were very close when they were young, and now fast forward, and they've grown part of it, and she's now engaged to Theseus, Newt's brother. What's a good meet? You never met a monster you couldn't love. I play Maledictus, and she's part of the circus where she performs, and her powers are exploited there by the circus master. And there she meets Credence, where they become friends, and they go on this journey together to find out who he is. He wants to figure out who he is. In some ways, I think he's trying to reconcile the violence and abuse in his past, and it's also a journey of finding companionship with someone for the first time. Mr. Scamanda! Do you think Dumbledore will mourn for you? One of the things that got fans' jaws a wagging was the fact that the film shows us a young Albus Dumbledore played by Jude Law. I have some questions for you, Professor. This is a surprise. I think he handled the pressure, from what I could see, very well. He seemed very comfortable, and I think he spent a lot of time, you know, doing his research and talking to J.K., and, I mean, he's a brilliant actor. He knows what he's doing. I watched him a, a few times. He's so grounded and so in control um, and alluring, and you're drawn to him as a man, you know? He's also a really cool guy. I think he brings an incredible multifaceted, very complicated approach to Dumbledore. I can't move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. Well, I'm completely biased because I think Jude Law is a god. Um, I've known you for a while, I love him as a person, and I love him as an actor, and what he has is this kind of mixture of um, like a mercurial, sort of 
playful quality and a great gravitas and you know, Richard Harris and Michael Camden as such sort of icons and Dumbledore himself is, is such a sort of iconic character that it, they, they were big shoes to fill and that the second that Jude arrived on set it was, he, he was mind blowing. So in fact one of the great joys of this film was going to be going to play him. In your shoes? I'd probably refuse to. It's late. Leaving it. Oh, come on. It was pretty clear when I first spoke with David Yates, the director, about it, that he and Joe Rowling were, were keen that this was a Dumbledore who is a good 85, maybe more years younger. His demons are a little closer to the surface than the, the man who, who we, we, we got to know through the Potter books and films. Um, and so for me as an actor, there was a sort of complexity and a sort of darkness there that, that's, that's really fun to uh, mine. But there's already a, a, a twinkle of mischievous, humorous knowing, uh, I think, that, that I like to think I, I've, I've perhaps used or, or stolen rather from uh, the other two actors. I know he's working under your orders. What do you have to say for yourself, Dumbledore? If you'd ever had the pleasure to teach him, you'd know Newt is not a great follower of orders. I think this film is unlike any of the Wizarding World films in the sense that what it manages to combine through this extraordinary kind of labyrinth-like plot with a sort of plethora of characters, all of whom are incredibly individual, old characters from the Beast films that we've known now being connected to names and families that we know from the, the Potter world. It manages to juggle tones and stories in a way that I had not seen for a long time. I found it a complete ride to be a part of, and, and what I've seen is, is 